Well, Indiana ranks among the worst states for LGBTQ plus people. That's according to a new study from Out Leadership. The study looked at legal protections plus youth and family support. I teammates Kat Sandoval spoke with a nonprofit group that's seen firsthand the struggles some gay youths face. We've had young people who on their 18th birthday have packed up all of their things and moved into Trinity Haven because they knew on their 18th birthday they would be kicked out of their house. For three years, Trinity Haven has established itself as a safe place where up to 10 homeless gay youths can stay for up to two years. All expenses like food, electricity, clothing is paid for by donations. The study by Out Leadership gave the state a low score for youth resources like gender affirming care and protections for religious conversion therapy. I asked Executive Director Jenny White if she thought Indiana was a safe place for LGBTQ youths. The whole state? No. <laughs> Hands down. That's a full answer. No. Here in Indianapolis, it's better. White and her team has seen it firsthand. Youths applying to stay with nowhere else to go. There's a lot of trauma and there's a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. And um, especially if they've had to be on the street, they realize once they're here that they can just exist. They can be young people figuring life out. Gay youths have 120% higher risk of experiencing homelessness compared to their straight counterparts, according to the National Network for Youth. But Trinity Haven says this number is an undercount. And we're here to help support those young people as they move through life. Trinity Haven staff tells me this is not just a place to land for some, but a place where they can find themselves. People who come here and say, like, this is the first time I felt like I'm at home. I felt peace. I felt like I could be my real we have, self. When we have 10 people in the house. While Trinity Haven staff, can fit only 10 the people, the they also have another program that matches a youth with a host home in the community. 81% of LGBTQ youths who have moved on from this program or home have found their own housing. I'm IT Mates Kat Sandoval, Wish TV, wishtv.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.